So Women at Work is helping women on the First Coast create and build their businesses. And this weekend, it's first Build Your Business from Scratch cohort will graduate. This program included six weeks of training that ended with participants having a fully functional business plan and marketing campaigns, which you can see that long-term success when you talk about that. So the founder of Women at Work, Stephanie Mickelvin. I didn't say that right. Mickelvin. Mickelvin. So, yeah, okay, I got it. It's new for me, too. I, I just got married. Oh, you did? Well, I did. Thank you. Oh, isn't that cute? All right, Thank so you. joins us in the studio this morning. Uh, this is an exciting weekend for yeah. those young women. And then also this program, because the thing is, this training, this grooming, when you, when you say, I want to start a business, yeah. there's a whole lot to it. Yes. I mean, I feel like the majority of us are working more in our business than on it yeah. um, and mm -hmm. so I was a part of um, a, a campaign myself right and just trying to participate in an incubator program that would help me to develop what we now know as the co-work space right which is downtown yeah. um, and so I wanted to take what I learned from that and just supplement that with a lot of in-person business to business ecosystem relationships. Now what's your background? How do you know what you know? <laughs> <laughs> so my background is actually in mental health. Is it really? Um, so when you think about a business that's called Women at Work, the E was always on purpose for empowerment. Wow, and okay. so through my therapy practice, I push a lot of coaching wow. of just like mm. empowering folks to just take better care of their wellness, take better care of themselves. And then I just kind of turn that into concentrating a lot more on I, the ladies. You know what, You're the chills are here <laughs> because I think what we don't always realize is that when we have an idea, maybe even a product, yeah. that's only a piece of it. Mm -hmm. You know, to have that support, to have that someone who understands what you're going through mentally and emotionally, that truly could be the key to success. Yes, and if, with our graduation upcoming on Saturday, their last discussion is about mental health and entrepreneurship because, I mean, we are subjected just to the ebb and flow of the success or otherwise, you know, otherwise with our businesses and that it means a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one part of your organization. Yeah. Tell us the some of the other ways that you're tapping in and things that you're doing. Ah, so in addition to the Build Your Business from scratch. Um, I think we were most known originally for our empowerment conference. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't originally from Jacksonville and so I kind of selfishly had to find a way to meet friends. Um, and so we started that empowerment conference and then that has massively grown into how can we shift with our customers and pivot post COVID. Um, and so once everyone was returning back into, you know, in-person activities, then we launched the co-work space. Okay. Um, so with Bank of America sponsorship and me participating in their uh, Women in uh, Entrepreneurship Institute. Um, that is what helped me to get all of my business plans right. in alignment. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to be able to make sure that so many other women get access to this program. Forward. And Absolutely. I think, you know, that those partnerships are essential, yeah. right? I mean, you can't necessarily do it on your own. Yeah. So talk about who you've been able to recruit and how they have been able to tap into these Oh women. my gosh, it has been so beautiful, right? So we have Bank of America who has sponsored these young ladies and participating in that. That is great. But we wanted to deepen their relationships with the Jacksonville community specifically. Um, and so we've had a couple of other, you know, community partners to come through. Miss Lakita Span with Mr. Potato Spread, mm -hmm. you know, has come through and delivered just an amazing word just about the journey, right. you know, and entrepreneurship so that they don't get so discouraged, yeah. right? Thinking about where they are versus where they expect to be. Um, that we got some really great feedback from Mr. Marcellus Womack of the 1% Brand Agency. And I mean, his algorithm mm. for marketing campaigns, I think that he kind of all knocked all of our socks wow. off, uh, which is simplifying it. All right. Well, I love it. And I, I think you got the whole picture here. Yeah. You know, you got mental yeah. health and then you've got just the formula for success. Yeah. Um, so will you do this graduate? We'll do this again. Yes, okay. I would absolutely love to do it again. The ladies will be graduating on Saturday um, and that we just want the community to surround them with love. You know, it's one thing to talk about mm -hmm. wanting to start a business, but these ladies have spent their six Saturdays, right. you know, just Preparing. learning and sharpening their skills. So we want to reward that business acumen by hosting a a small business showcase. Okay, and that's this to, weekend. Where? So that'll be actually during Art Walk. Okay, um, okay. on that May first Art Walk. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. May 1st, Wednesday, yeah. 5 to 9. Thank you for coming in. I wish you thank so much you. success because clearly you're, yeah. you're tapped in and you're doing the work. Yes, thank you so much. 